the inode B is the only network element at the LT radio access network. One inode B may include multiple cells for covering multiple, usually three sectors. The inode B communicates with the UE, the user equipment, to the UUR interface and is connected to the two interfaces to the core network. The S1U user plane interface is used for connecting between the inode B and the serving gateway. S1 MME interface is used for connecting between the inode B and the core network management entity called MME. The MME is responsible for controlling most of the core network elements and it will discuss later. The inode B is responsible for the following main tasks. First, providing and managing radio resources for communicating with the UEs. Providing radio admission control. Establish and manage uplink bears. A bear is a virtual link for a certain level of quality of service directed to a certain IP address. Manage and scheduling the scheduler. Scheduling is a process of dynamic resource allocation based on quality of service requirement and channel conditions. Transmission of paging messages to the required UE. Managing the end-offs and handling access layer security functions such as ciphering and integrity protection on the radio interface. X2 interface is used to connect between inode Bs and provide user data and control messages between them. The X2 interface is mainly used for the handover process. During the handover process, handover control messages are transferred between the source inode B and the target inode B. In addition, the source inode B forwards to the target inode B the packets arriving from the serving gateway during the handoff. This avoids loss of data packets during inter inode B handover. LTE is the first cellular technologies that mandates direct link between the base stations. In previous generations, the RNC was the entity responsible for managing the end-off and forwarding the related data. Since LTE does not include RNC, the end-off related communication is done directly through the X2 interface. Let's have a look for a moment on the way multiple base stations and serving gateways are interconnected. As can be seen here, a serving gateway serves multiple base stations, inode Bs. A single inode B may be served by, mul by multiple serving gateways. The inode Bs themselves are connected between them using the X2 interface. When a specific network is designed, the designer identifies the inode Bs that may need to transfer end of related data, this will probably be neighbor inode Bs, and provide an X2 interface between them. 